Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing a system monitoring application and a system cleaner. Uh, this application is called Stacer. In the past few weeks I've reviewed several system monitoring programs, but all of them have been terminal based programs. Stacer, on the under, other hand, is a graphical program. It has a GUI, a proper graphical user interface. Uh, looking at their GitHub page here, you'll see some screenshots of a very slick, polished looking user interface. You can download Stacer, the uh, source from SourceForge. It requires both curl and systemd. There are Debian packages, so you have some .deb files you can download, and it does have RPMs for Fedora users. Everyone else will need to build it from source. All right, when you first launch Stacer, you get this main uh, dashboard, this little overview here. You have uh, some system monitoring information for CPU, memory, and disk. And at the bottom, bottom left, you have system information, you know, host name, platform, distribution, kernel. And then on the bottom right, you have some network information, uh, download in bytes per second, upload in bytes per second, as well as totals for both download and upload. Down this menu here, other than the dashboard, we have our startup apps. Uh, I'm running Manjaro Linux today and I do not have any programs uh, that auto start when I launch Manjaro here so I have nothing listed but you guys that do use startup programs will have all your startup applications in a list here and you can disable those from starting up. Uh, further down this this left hand column here we have our system cleaner and this is the main highlight of the Stacer application is cleaning your system. We can clean uh, our package cache, our crash reports, our application logs, our application cache, and our trash, all from Stacer. So if I choose package cache here, let me check it on, and hit the little search function here. And it has come up with 1,031 files that it can delete here in the package cache, 3.3 gigabytes in size. So quite a bit of space we could save here. Let me go back. Crash reports. We could do the same with application logs, application cache, and trash. Let me do the logs. Show you how this would work. 14 application logs, 112.7 megabytes here, and it would list them. All right, moving on down the list from the system cleaner, up underneath it we have system services. And we have all our services here listed. And then we have the ones that start on boot, you know, signified by the power button here. And then the little play symbol here are the ones that are currently running. So you have a column for uh, ones that start automatically on boot and if they're currently running or not. So all your services are here. And of course, you can disable them through the menu here. All right, then we have our processes here. This is your standard process viewer, much like TOP or HTOP in the terminal or your standard GNOME system monitor or KDE system monitor. Up under the processes, we have our uninstaller. This is, lists all the programs installed on your system, and you can uninstall them right here inside Stacer. Then we have our resources here. Again, some more system monitoring information, CPU, swap, memory, network, download upload and then finally we have settings for language and for theme uh, this is the theme for Stacer it comes default in this dark theme but you can change it to a light theme I felt like I really needed to do a video on Stacer since I've been doing a lot of other system monitoring uh, programs on the channel Stacer has been getting a lot of attention and a lot of news on a lot of Linux websites in the last uh, six to nine months uh, because it is such a great program. I mean, it is like having, you know, your standard system monitor and your system cleaner tools like BleachBit, uh, your package manager for uninstalling software, your startup uh, application manager. You have all that stuff in one program. Uh, this tool is so fantastic. I, I believe that most Linux distributions very soon will be including Stacer by default on their ISOs because it solves so many problems really all in one package. Uh, you can eliminate a lot of other tools simply by having Stacer installed on your system. So guys, 
Check out Stacer. Peace.